Containers are a relatively new way to work in Elementor and have been the subject of much discussion in our community. So what's all the hype about anyway? Hey there, I'm Aviva from Elementor, and today I'm answering your questions about switching from sections to Flexbox containers. I'll share tips for making a smooth transition on your website so you can make the switch with confidence. Question number one, why should I use containers? In short, containers allow you to create more advanced layouts faster. They let you change the layout, distribution, and order of elements for any screen size. Using containers also improves your website performance. Win-win. Question number two. Will activating containers affect any of my existing layouts in Elementor? The answer is no. After activating containers, your existing sections remain as sections and you'll still be able to edit them as usual. That brings us to question number three. Will I need to rebuild my whole website in containers? No again. If you choose to convert specific sections, Elementor will create a copy of the section in the form of a container. You can tweak your converted container, if necessary, following your original section as a guide. Then delete the section. Question number four. Can I still add new sections to my page after activating containers? You can't add a new section or intersection directly to your page layout once you've activated containers. But if you'd still like to use sections after activating containers, I have a tip for you. Before activating containers, save an empty section with an intersection inside as a template. Then you can insert your section template wherever you'd prefer to use a section. Question number five. Anything else I should know before activating containers on my site? Yes, as always, create a backup before making any big changes to your website. And if possible, test first in a staging environment. And note that if you deactivate containers, any existing containers on your site will disappear. Question number six. Okay, I'm ready. How do I activate containers? From the WordPress admin, go to Elementor, Settings, Features, and set Flexbox containers to active. Save changes and you're good to go. We've also launched a containers playground where you can practice creating all types of layouts. You can access it from the link in the description. So are you ready to make the switch? Have any questions about activating containers? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.